As our viewers know, Arkansas is the number one producer of rice in the U.S. And one environmentally conscious farmer from northeast Arkansas is shining a light on the benefits of American-grown crops while also giving back to the community. Channel 7's Ashley Butler has her story tonight. Ashley joins us live in the studio. Ashley. Chris Beth, Hallie Schaffner is the CEO of Foodwise, a scientific and social enterprise, and today she donated 15,000 pounds of rice to the Arkansas Food Bank. We are living in a time right now where the cost of food is consistently rising, um, inflation is rising, um, and Arkansas has just recently been named the number one state for food insecurity. One local state farmer is changing the game, creating food wise, developing and sourcing specialty rice varieties. Specialty rice is a crop that comes with a premium. So farmers can make more money per acre growing a specialty variety than they can a long grain hybrid white rice. With the mission to increase resiliency of American grown food supply and production, while also highlighting women in minority owned farms. We want brands to know that we can produce that rice right here in the Mid-South. And that is gonna lower their carbon footprint. It's gonna secure their supply chain by providing more opportunities outside of say, Thailand and California. And it provides extra revenue to our farmers to grow these specialty crops. And Foodwise donating 15,000 pounds of rice to the Arkansas Food Bank upon launching. She has so graciously made it her first mission and her first stop to the Arkansas Food Bank to donate 15,000 pounds of rice. Um, this rice will go to feed a bunch of our Kansans in our 33 county service area. Specialty rice brings a premium with it. A farmer on average can make about 12% more revenue per acre with a specialty variety rather than a straight commodity. On your side in the newsroom, I'm Ashley Butler. All right, Ashley, thanks a lot. According to Schaffner, women-run farms make up about 9% of farms here in the U.S., with minority-owned farms at 1%.